so this is uh, a flip book very soft and subtle see the swirly effect this is with a confinement micro solver So this is how we we'll, uh, go through creating this um, falling down smoke step by step. So first thing first, I will import the geometry and I'll print the file. This is the file. Give it a second to load. So this is the file. I'll make it uh, properly sitting on the ground. So we'll rotate it uh, to make it uh, look better. So on this axis, something like this, and then this axis. Yeah, align it to the object to the board oh, make it to the object now to the board something like this let's go here and see is very dense so I want to pull reduce there's uh, no point of having that dense amount of polygons so we we'll decrease it as much as we can and I'll just keep uh, say five percent See now, we went from nearly a million bones to 46,000, and it's open. So I will do volume extrude. Evaluate each time and the grid. Where is the grid? Yeah, let's make it bigger. And 
and we merge both of them now the exclusion here We'll do collision source. Yeah, first, one second, not this one is the geo, and this one is the VGB. So, this is how it looks. This is how it looks. This one. do VDB reshape just to make it tiny bigger that's one and this is the geo okay now I will create uh, tube and the tube we will put it way up and the radius will increase it also this one something like that and in the cap this one we will uh, uh, ISO offset so we have some volume in here and with this volume I will create point from volume so we have this amount of points which is two high point separation which make a point five. okay now I will uh, create uh, either pop network or we rasterize it so uh, Pyro from source. No, not this one. Pyro, 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 pyro source. Okay. Here I'm choosing to have the bones. Source smoke. So we have density and temperature. And here I will do volume rasterize from attribute and here the attribute I will do density and temperature here we will do biro solver and in the biro solver we have see what we did so it's rising up okay so let's now modify it I'll uh, introduce some jitter it's going up parallel source we have density and temperature default value let's make it minus one Let's make it zero so it's not moving okay one it will go up why because of Beyonce so if I go to the field and temperature diffusion let me search for it now shape Beyonce yeah so we'll make it minus one and see so it start to fade down Exercise point to five, make it faster. Okay, now the collision. We we'll use the PDB. Let's have a look now. This is too high, so I will go here to the tube. 
and make it a little bit down something like this okay the same again okay so we have some collision but the dissipation is very high so in the shape in the shape here we can say this turbulence shading field dissipation make it lower and also we will include some shape dissipation shading viscosity we'll add one for now and see some disturbance we'll make it 25 and we will decrease pencil 0.5 this is 3000 we'll make it 400 so it's not very fast we'll go 500 Slowly going down. We make the frequency minus five. With, so here, with the forces, the admixing we will go to microsolver and do vortex uh, boost let's make it one see it more uh, pronounced also vortex confinement here we'll make it uh, 75 we'll merge both and connect it to the addiction more swirly merge this one with the chain to properly place the camera so let's have a camera here some lighting so in the light we will go with the environment light and choose an HDRI let's go with the 2K import and here I will increase the pixel size 0.1 so it's more dense choose a frame to render it and see how it goes so as you can see more details we have here maybe we will uh, make this one smaller something like this
so it's interacting now. See the swirly effect. I'll do a flip book. Okay. Let's do a flip book now. So this is uh, a flip book. Very soft and subtle. the swirly effect this is with a confined mint micro solver black silk ok go to the render again now as you can see you can select from where it starts it will follow the mouse